For this stem bite, I'd like to show you a clock that I've been making. The whole thing is driven by this pendulum, which swings back and forth at a regular interval. That turns this arbor, which allows this gear to turn, which spins this gear, which turns this guy, and eventually this weight goes down and down and down because it's providing tension to the whole thing. The whole thing came in this kit, which I've been assembling over the past several weeks. What's particularly interesting to me about clocks is this idea of gears and gear ratios. The pendulum only goes back and forth once every like half a second. But this system of gears will allow three different dials. One moving once a second, once a minute, and once an hour. That's all because of gears. So these two gears look very, very similar, but actually if I line them right up with each other, you'll see they're ever so slightly different. The difference is the number of teeth all the way around the gear. 12, 13, 14, 15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This gear has 30 teeth, this one has 32. Now why is that important? Because every time this gear turns once all the way around, this gear will only go like 98% of the way around. The number of teeth in this gear divided by the number of teeth in this gear is what we call the gear ratio. And it shows up in more than just clocks. Virtually all vehicles from bikes to cars, motorcycles and beyond depend on gears and gear ratios. Every time this tire goes around once, the bike moves forward maybe seven or eight feet. The hope is that you only have to move your foot a little ways while the tire moves you a long ways forward. Notice this gear has maybe 40 teeth on it and it's connected to a small gear that has maybe 10 teeth on it. So then if I turn this gear once around, 40 teeth have gone by, and 40 teeth have gone by here too. The difference is that was one revolution here, and that was four revolutions of this huge bike tire. Now if you're going up a big hill, you might change gears so that going around once only makes the tire go around once. But when you're going fast on a flat stretch of road, you can use a really large gear ratio, so moving the pedal once maybe makes the wheel turn 10 times. Next time you're riding in a car down the road, listen for when the gears change. You'll see our cars do the exact same thing, shifting gears so that the same motion of the engine can cause the tires to go faster and faster around. Stand by.